I'm so glad you're here. Really, it's not the same without you. Today, I'm making what I'm calling a zesty tomato soap. As you just saw, I processed several tomatoes and a bit of basil. I did have to go back and get much more basil out of the garden so I could get uh, two ounces of it. All right, so... Uh, what I'm doing now is just putting some water in my eyes, so I've got a true ice bath here. And I'm going to begin adding my lye and stirring it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, and if you have already subscribed, I hope you click the thumbs up and like this video. And uh, leave a comment. Actually, I have a very special gift. Uh, I have a soap giveaway that and I'm going to be posting another video on that uh, probably tomorrow. And it's going to be based on comments. <laughs> I'm going to pick someone at random from those that comment on the videos and send them a gift package at absolutely no cost. And I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are too. So do comment in the video. Matter of fact, to be included in this drawing, I want you to put the word zesty in your comment. Okay? So I will be choosing a winner from those people that put the word zesty in their comment of this video. All right, thanks. So uh, what I'm making here is a tomato and basil soap. And I'm mixing them together. Of course, it's mostly tomato with a bit of basil for flavor. <laughs> no, I just know these two things go so well together. Uh, just these two items and a little mozzarella on pizza dough and I'm a pig in heaven <laughs> but uh, we won't be eating this and there won't be any mozzarella in here so this um, never scorched I kept it nice and cold and it kept its color now one thing I don't know if you know this or not about tomato in soap, tomato tends to turn a very light pink. So many people use red palm oil or other colorants to make it look tomatoey. I'm not doing that. So you're going to get what you get. <laughs> so it is true tomato, and if it fades, it fades. And I've used tomato powder in previous videos. Matter of fact, I'll put a link to one up here. But I've not used my whole tomatoes. And uh, I'm really excited about that. And I was a little concerned because, well, tomatoes are acidic. And I was afraid that that might counteract the lie. I've heard of this happening with lemon or orange soap, those sort of things. So by adding the basil and the ice bath uh, and using these tomatoes, which are much less acidic, I think it's going to be okay. Well, I know it is. Obviously, I've already cut the soap, <laughs> so I know it worked out great.
I don't discuss politics or religion on this channel, and for very good reason. Um, not that I can't intelligently speak about it, it's just not something I think is appropriate. By the way, I just added in some sea salt. This is just some from my local supermarket. Not local. <laughs> There's nothing local here, but from the closest supermarket to me. And I believe this is a Belgium sea salt. I have sea salt from Israel. I have sea salt from Italy. I have... Oh, that's Dead Sea Salt from Israel, excuse me. I have Himalayan salt, but in this recipe, it's just uh, sea salt. And I do that to harden the soap. All right, so this is melted and we can move forward. Well, here I do show you the salt. I just wanted to show it's just supermarket salt, but I also show where it's from. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Let's move forward. For forward. F -f 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 forward. Here we go. I'm adding an essential oil blend here. This is just a few drops of lemon. Uh, a little bit of cedar wood, a lot of basil essential oil, and a tad bit of the oregano. I was so happy with how dark my tomato and basil juice was. However, in soap, <laughs> natural products don't always end up the way they begin. And many times I will add natural colorants to help boost. So for instance, for this tomato, I could have added some tomato powder. I could have added some annatto. I could have done several different things. But I decided to just keep this in its most pure form. It's right for my garden. I didn't want to adulterate it in any way. I also wanted to let you all know that you can contact me outside of YouTube. Just send an email to Soapy Oak Farms. That's not right. Soapy Oaks Farm at gmail.com. And I'll put it here actually. So what I'm doing here on the top is adding ground basil. I dried about a lot. <laughs> I don't know how much it was. It was a couple of cookie sheets. And once I ground it down, wasn't much left. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm spreading on top. First, I was going to be very judicious and just put a line down the middle or a couple lines for each bar and then I decided out of heck with it <laughs> and I just coated it it looks like a lawn by the time I'm finished and uh, I'm sorry about that I, I listen I know that there are so many beautiful artists who do these lovely peaks and piping and swirls and embeds but this is what I do <laughs> is it the lazy way out I sure hope so and I do 
have some of my custom molds and I need to do a video real soon hopefully my next one uh, using one of those and I'll do a fun design it won't be piping but it should still be fun I love cutting soap I would say that it's my second favorite part of making soap first part is bringing it to emulsification go figure but cutting it is a close second maybe they're tied for first I don't know but as you can see this did lighten up it's not red it's kind of a pinkish red not sure it smells tremendous and you know it's tomato <laughs> and basil and that's what some of the flecks are in there from the uh, basil juice and the tomato juice I just love that but it smells uh, heavenly it really does it's like stepping into an Italian kitchen it really is So everyone, I really hope you will join this contest. Remember the word zesty in your comment. And you can leave more than one comment. <laughs> Increase your chances. And this will be not just in this video, but the next, we'll make it the next three videos. And I have a very nice giveaway. And I will do in the next video, I will take a picture of what the gift is so that you know what you're playing for so thanks so much everyone you can go ahead and watch the rest of the video here and uh, well you know there are some other things we can talk about just for a moment I watch the news I listen to the news I'm kind of a news junkie and I don't like talking politics, and that's not what this channel's for. But what I will say is this. We all need to try to get along. I don't care if you're a Republican. I don't care if you're a Democrat, if you're a liberal, if you're a conservative, if you're a Christian, if you're a Jew, if you're old, if you're young, if you're black, if you're Asian. I don't care. This channel is open to everyone and everybody's welcome here. There are no restrictions. And I don't want anyone to feel restricted. As long as you're nice and friendly to everyone else, those things don't matter. Uh, the world has become very divisive. And I don't understand that. It's not how I grew up. My parents were of one political persuasion. And my dad's best friend was of another. And they were the best of friends. And sadly... That doesn't seem to be happening a lot these days. So big hugs to all of you, no matter what you believe. Thanks for being here. I love that you've chosen my channel. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and let me know that you're there. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.